Mutation has this effect of breaking up the, the cancer cells' DNA. So, left side of the body is here, right, this part. It's how it looks like. Lock up your intestines, right? And when you cut the section off, it cannot reach the rectum, right? So you have an opening, an opening up to the skin. This time. So, because it's brought to the skin, you're going to wear a bag, a stow, stoma bag, to collect the stool. You see? It's very unpleasant, and you've got to empty it frequently. So, that is colorectal cancer. Supplements that help with colonic disease. Vitamin D is important, omega-3, fish oil. This combination, turmeric and quercetin, seem to be useful. And on the internet, there's a lot of news about coconut oil and lauric acid. And of course, look after your microbiome. which is your diet. Huh? Don't take processed food, don't take uh, food that are unhealthy. So, what about Telehurst and colonic disease? I say it can be used. Yes, it can. There have been a lot of research on the colon using Telehurst waves, but they're mainly for diagnostic reasons. So, from, there, from this we know uh, the, the different layers in a colon because terahertz has a very high resolution of the colon and because colonic disease are mainly inflammatory and secondary infection it is highly amenable to terahertz but I have not found anybody with colonic disease coming up to give a testimony but a lot of other testimonies have similar characteristics, they're mainly inflammatory, they mainly have secondary infection. And if they are active with those other diseases, they'll be active with the colon. See? And we definitely know that with regard to con cancer, terahertz waves will be effective. Moreover, your colon is just behind the abdominal wall. After the abdominal wall, you have the colon and the intestines already. If you open up the stomach, that's what you see. Once you open up the stomach, if you have assisted in surgery before, that's what you see, and you can actually lift up the colon or the small intestines. You see? So in case of uh, abdominal problem, the surgeon will look it up and lift up the intestine and have a look at it. I used to assist a surgeon who, who is very slow in his way. So you pick up an intestine, take a look, stare at it, put it down, take another stare. <laughs> but it tells you that it's just next to the abdominal wall, isn't it? So terahertz waves can stimulate immune cells and stem cells. In the now, the colon and the intestines are attached to the back of the, to, to your back, by a tissue called a mesentery. Mesentery. This mesentery contains a lot of cells, stem cells, and a lot of other cells. And to be activated by terrorists. But because it is behind rather than in front, so your terrorists may not reach you. So you can reach the cells of the colon, but to reach the stem cell, you probably got to shine on the back huh? to reach it. So that's where you are. Lifestyle modification. You must understand that the gut, you put all kinds of food in it, right? And most of it is nutritious, but it can also be poisonous. And that's where the problem is. The colon is home to our microbiome. 
which contribute to our health. Contribute genes, contribute to a lot of things that are normal. See? So it all depends on uh, healthy choices, uh, including physical activity. Physical activity makes things worse. Because physical activity makes your body stagnant. You know? Circulation don't flow. So when you make choices that are healthy, you not only add years to your life, you add life to the years. Isn't it? And this is with regard to the colon. Now, if you like to hear more of the other systems I talk about, go to YouTube and you can watch my other videos. Like I say, if you want me to repeat them, or you want a particular system, uh, later on I will talk about endocrine system, uh, the lungs and the kidneys, and then mental health and stress. So, uh, these are the topics I will cover in future talks. So prevention is always better. And general advice as to the use of therapeutic devices, inflammation, very useful. So colon disease, a lot of inflammation, that's why it's useful. Pain, all pains, you will relieve it. Those blockages, whether they are blood vessels are blocked or veins or weight loss or whatever. Skin conditions, skin is on the surface, easily rich. My second or third lecture was on the skin. And uh, I, I was very happy with the fact that this, this uh, black mold uh, is all about to be completely disappear. Mm -hmm. And give me another month, it will disappear. It used to be one block there, black. What do you do? You blow? Yeah, spot? I blow. Seven minutes each time, every day. Once a day. Once a, once Enough. a day. Enough. Because it's not... If I'm very bored, bothered by it, probably can do two, three times a day, but I have a lot of things to do, so seven <laughs> minutes a day to me is enough. And it does go off, right? The minimum is seven, seven minutes? There is no minimum. Okay. Up to you. Why you choose seven minutes? No magic number? <laughs> <laughs> no magic number. Just, just simply the fact that because it's a lower setting, uh, you need to give it a little bit more time. So I try seven minutes on and I find that it's going off very good. That's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah, yeah. That's good enough. I mean, no point overdoing it. Uh. I tend to overdo things and make it worse. Uh. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, something that, uh, unless it's something serious, if it's something serious, yes, you, you can go on to 15 minutes, half an hour, that's true. Wow, as long as you try it gradually. Huh? Right? So, don't recommend it for pregnancy, for congenital conditions, acute disease. Uh, acute disease, please go to a doctor. No. You need acute treatment. Especially accident, open wounds and fracture. Please go. Nothing like getting proper attention. Excuse me. The people with congenital heart and congenital heart can repair by itself or repair by surgery. Yeah. So if it repair by itself, it may work, but no good. Because congenital conditions are sometimes caused by disruption in genes which is this may work mm -hmm. as it may yeah. 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 or it can be caused by abnormalities which are beyond this okay so if it's beyond this if it's not in abnormal dna expression this is normal if your dna is abnormal this won't make it normal very simple so in this case you the DNA doesn't work, so we don't need hard to work. No. no. It doesn't mean that. There is no guarantee it works unless you know and you've been evaluated for properly and you know there is something that can be cured if certain thing happens, then this may work. No guarantee. Okay. Well, something related to NDP, huh? NDP. 
What's NDP? M M D P. Macho uh, vast black The no. that it's, one doesn't help. It's mechanical. This it's, word. Okay. It's mechanical. You understand? When something is mechanical, no, this will work. So it's only uh, doesn't apply to the structure. It doesn't apply as long as this. Okay. So there is a bioresonance scan. Make use of similar technology that scans your body and tells you what organ is abnormal. You see, Western medicine treats you if you have disease. And Western investigation can only pick up if it's totally abnormal. But the resonance scan can pick up something that is just deteriorating. Huh? Because we can pick up uh, things that are slightly disturbed and highlight to you. So recently I scanned somebody, we found that uh, colon was not functioning normally. Right? So because she has a family history of colonic cancers, so I said, well, this is one area you could look at. So scan as for colon, uh, blow with the thing as for colon, so I picked up other people with other conditions okay. using the bioresonance scan mm -hmm. and then you can use this to see whether you can get it back to normal. So that's the effectiveness of the bioresonance scan. Today this thing is one of the hottest things that is being done nowadays. This thing came, to, came on at about uh, 9 nine years ago. At that time the scan was huge machinery. You know? Now it's been so small the software now can go into a notebook. And that's the advances that we have. So the bioresonance scan, if you like to have a bioresonance scan to see which part of your body needs attention to from the head point of view, this is what it do. I'm in the field of mental health. I have two online courses. If you're interested, you can apply for them. And if you want to contact me, my phone number is there, my email is there. Okay. I will answer any question that you may have.